all right hi everyone it's natalie here back with another message for you guys hope everyone is doing well today we're gonna tap in see what spirit needs us to know let's see what's going on hearing very strongly set boundaries set boundaries just set your boundaries guys we're gonna see exactly what this is talking about let's see what's going on Woodwives Adaptability came out. Oh, a bunch of other things came out too. So we have Woodwives Adaptability. We have Teachability. Uh, Beloved. Uh, obstacles. The Divine Matrix Treasures Hidden in the Shadows. Possibility for a Union. All right. So it looks like... Um, hmm. You've entered something that a lot of people cannot enter into. Now, these people could be people that try to follow you down a path or a portal or something, and they're mad that they can't get to it. You have gotten to it. Someone here wants you to teach them how to go through a specific portal, but it has nothing to do with who you follow or who you learn from. Someone wants you to teach them how to do something. All of you guys can be very much like you guys could be a teacher there's something here that you cannot teach though it's something that has to be embedded within you right radical acceptance and obstacles are here someone is blocked okay and i feel like spirit wants you to like just set boundaries with people because people are like blocked from certain things that you're not blocked from and you do not want people to like um i don't know i guess hinder that for you Clarify adaptability, woodwise. Woodwise adaptability. Yes, yeah, so we have disruption and patience here. I feel like you you guys have already been through your trials and tribulations when it comes to something, and they're throwing evil eye at you. Whoever's throwing evil eye at you, it's like they're trying to figure out how do they do that? How do they make it past something here? It's because you, something about patience here. You move rather slow. Clarify teachability, hollow bone. I'm hearing goes in one ear and out the other. Never give up motivation. Yeah, you never gave up anything. Someone is trying to like learn from you or teach from, or, like they want you to teach them something, okay? I feel like you motivate people, but that's all you can do. Like that's the best you can do. I mean, you can't make someone be successful that's not your job you can't make someone heal from their trauma that's not your job you can very much motivate people but the healing part that's their job and i feel like someone here wants you to do their job for them radical acceptance beloved radical acceptance yeah so we have a uh, bullseye focus give me one for the obstacles the wall joy and angel numbers you guys are not blocked you guys don't have obstacles i feel like you guys someone is jealous of you because you overcame your obstacles and you get angel numbers 144 is very significant i've been seeing it like all day i seen it all last night like i keep seeing 144 it's because you guys are focused okay you technically don't really have obstacles your obstacles are actually illusions okay but people are jealous of you because of this or they're like trying to figure out they're trying to study you and figure out like every little step and move that you made they're even trying to study something about your past and it cannot be it, it's not recorded or it cannot be picked up because it's something that's it's in you not on you okay patience and adaptability patience and adaptability DNA paternity test something about your DNA something is in your DNA all right like I said it's in you not on you we got partying drugs and alcohol out here moon magic someone is doing rituals on you I'm also getting something like if people are trying to teach from you or like they're trying to learn from you. I keep saying teach from you. 
yeah, if someone is trying to learn from you here, they're not trying to let go of their addictions. They're not trying to let go of partying and drinking and smoking. They're not trying to let go of that. So that's not your problem. Someone out here wants to, someone's name starts with a P. Someone out here is blaming you for their slave mentality. Okay. It's like they're trying to, they're saying, oh, you're not a real teacher because I didn't have $50,000 sitting on my porch this morning after I meditated like you told me to. Like, this can be some, something entitled and greedy like that. It's like, that's not how manifestations work. That's not even how prayer works. Not even God will do that for you. It's something about you have to, something here has to be within you, okay? Never give up motivation, teachability. You always teach people to never give up though. And they feel like you are lying or you're scamming or whatever because these people don't want to let go of their addictions. And then they do rituals behind the scenes. They feel like they can do rituals like moon magic. Yeah, we got loves you for you unconditionally. Someone hates the way people like, I don't know, I would say worship you, but I don't really feel like that's how you feel. I don't feel like you feel worshipped. It's giving me more like um, you're in the spotlight. Leo energy out of the country is here. You guys maybe have moved recently. Mirror magic. Someone here is trying to be just like you. They want to be just like you or something because everyone loves you. And then they're like, well, my lifestyle didn't change by listening to this person or by from learning from this person. So they must be a fake teacher. That's not how it works. People think that you're a God or something. You're like, you're supposed to be blessing everyone with $50,000. So like, that's not how it works. You can't go back into these people past and pull them out of their trauma. You can't make them not smoke or drink. That's their choice. If they want to be caught up in that, that's their business. Well, it's your fault that I'm spiritually blocked and I, I can't dream like I used to dream. Or ever since I started listening to you, my dreams have been blocked. Maybe it's because the more you listen to me or the more you listen to this teacher, you start doing rituals and you block yourself from blessings. Also, I'm hearing something about that... Um, it's okay to like study the moon phases and stuff like that, but someone depends too much on moon phases and they do things around moon phases a little bit too much. They pay attention to it a little bit too much. Instead of just going deep within, within themselves or just praying to God, they're praying to moons. They're praying to, they're trying to cloak themselves in your energy or cl cloak themselves as like someone that's aligned or in their purpose and they're not. Because they don't, they haven't even healed something within themselves. Clarify focus, radical acceptance. It's all about being focused. Yeah, look, meditation and stillness. We got Libra here. So, so far we have Libra and Leo. Relationships. Stirring the pot is here. Root chakra is here. And meditation. Someone is trying to like... They're trying to disrupt your meditation or disrupt. They're trying to uproot you. They don't want you to know yourself. They're going to they're gonna continue to do this magic onto you. Yep, dark witch, wrong use of power. This is the dark witch doing this. She's going to continue to stir the pot because she doesn't like the attention that you get from relationships or she doesn't like the attention that you get in the spotlight. Or for some reason, she feels like everyone just loves you. And, and how can everyone love you when their life hasn't changed? Okay. We're all on our own timeline in the spiritual journey. I could be talking about a marriage in my reading, but you won't get married for about three, four years from now. But it's still in my, it's still in your energy. All you have to do is align yourself. Some people aren't aligning themselves to what they want to resonate with them. Like for instance, <clears throat> if I'm saying, oh, you're gonna get a new job. That's not going to align for people that aren't putting out applications. The job isn't just going to fall from the sky just because it's in my reading, okay? Or, oh, you are going to get married. That's not going to resonate for women that don't want to get married or men that don't want to get married. You know, you can't just force yourself on other people's life purpose and you're not doing anything to change your lifestyle to uh, align with that purpose. If in my reading I say, oh, you guys are going to go visit Greece, how are you guys going to visit Greece and you didn't put up any money for it? You're not saving up for it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's giving me something like that. People are, 
I don't know if people are watching me and judging me because their life isn't the way it's supposed to be or something. They have to align themselves with that. Someone is saying, I can't, I don't have dreams anymore, but they keep smoking and drinking and sedating themselves. Some people can't sleep, so they start taking pills to go to sleep, but then they get mad when they don't have their dreams or their dreams are not in order. Or I'm also getting something like, um, they're not seeing the angel numbers. They're not seeing signs of synchronicity, so they're blaming everyone else that sees them or they claim them as a false teacher because they're not so you see you know what I mean like all you if you're a teacher and you're going through this all you can do is just teach you have no say over these people's lives and they're like judging you clarify joy and obstacles people can't get to this joyous lifestyle because they're not aligned for it Astro travel, watch your dreams. Something about the dream state. People are blocking your dreams, by the way. They can't get through. If you've noticed lately, if you are aligned, you'll notice that like your dreams are like flowing or something, or something about your dreams that are like peaceful, or everything just happens the way they're supposed to happen in your dreams, and, and nothing negative happens in them. It's because like people are blocked from your dreams. Yep, spiritual bath and cleansing here. Pass down gifts. Give me another one. People are blocked from this energy. There's an obstacle here. You overcame the obstacles or hurdles. They haven't. Karmic father. Wow. Could be a karmic masculine out here. Mad because they can't get into your dream state or something. Out of state. Police investigation records. Someone may want to like move out of state because they feel like they're getting investigated too. That's a side story. So someone here feels like, I don't know. Someone is like really blaming you because your lifestyle isn't benefiting them. Or what you're teaching isn't benefiting them. Like what? Okay. They have to align themselves for it. They're not aligning themselves. And I'm sad, I'm sorry to say like your alignment, you can get aligned today, but not be blessed for it for another two, three years. And I mean, that's okay. It, everyone's on their own journey here. You can't be, you can't expect to get blessed like everyone else and you just now aligned yourself. You have to be patient. People don't want to be patient with their journey and then they get mad when things don't go their way. Or they're putting magic on themselves with all, this, all these drugs and partying. Like you're doing the magic to yourself when you do that. No one's doing magic on you. You're doing it to yourself because you don't want to sit down and uh, detox yourself and meditate and root yourself ground yourself I feel like i'm scolding somebody someone like really needs to hear this like you can't you're drunk listening to tarot readings wondering why you can't meditate and then you blame the tarot reader like that's not yeah look we have the empress in the reverse seven of swords yeah this person is always trying to get away with things five of pentacles King of Pentacles is here. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Four of Swords in the reverse. King of Swords in the reverse. The world in the reverse here. I'm also getting like a group of people doing this together. Yep, it is. Yep, it is. It's a whole group of people out here. And what they're doing is they're calling each other like, hey. It's like they need someone to like confide in someone that's not wise okay they need a dummy that will listen to them ten of cups could be about family too they're not going to go to a real teacher they're going to go to like one of those teachers that i don't know just tell them anything that they want to hear and this is why they're not elevating in life they seem blocked or something someone is listening to a liar or like there's a liar out here definitely Clarify the uh, Empress in the reverse. This Empress is sick in the head. Whoever she is, it's Karmic Empress. Wow, King of Cups in the reverse. This could be like a mother-son dynamic too. Four of Cups here. And the Moon in the reverse, yeah. So these people's secrets are coming out too. It's like whatever they try to keep hidden, it's coming out and people are just not satisfied with the way things are because everything has came out about them. Wow, Ten of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. 
So the Ten of Pentacles is with the Queen of Swords here and not with them. Someone feels like uh, they just feel bored right now. Uh, they're real jealous too. It's like they're projecting on other people. These are a group of drunk people for some reason. I feel like they drink a lot or they, they're they under the influence a lot. Seven of Swords. Someone's lifestyle is to be a thief. Like that's all they know. Yeah, we got the tower in the reverse. The seven of cups. These people are real delusional. They thought that they had, they thought that they set up obstacles for you, but they, you had no obstacles. They didn't even study or look deep within about something. They had no insight. I, like I swear, guys, these people thought that they had you set up for something. They try to set you up for something, but they weren't smart enough to do it. They're actually delusional. They're confused. They're like, how come? This person didn't get set up. It's like they had, some, they thought that they had everything all figured out, setting something up and it didn't even work out. And now the secrets are out. It's like they're exposed or something. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. This is talking about poverty. They did a lot of moon magic and now they're mad that it didn't work out. Yeah, so we have the nine of Pentacles here with the sun in the reverse and the knight of wands. Uh, eight of swords in reverse. Be careful, people that don't like you, but they want to run towards you because they know that you're free. They know that you can free them. Ten of wands. Yeah, they're truly burdened working with a collaboration of people that you told them about. You overcame a lot of obstacles. You overcame a lot of adversity. And they want you to show them how you did it, but the answer, they're not going to like the answer. They're not going to like what you tell them. This is why they don't like you because you give them the right answer. They want the wrong answer. They want the half-assed answer. They just, that's what they want from you. They don't want the real answer. Clarify the uh, King of Pentacles here. That's why you're not going to be giving it to them. Who's the King of Pentacles? We have the Nine of Wands, the Hierophant in the reverse with the Six of Cups. Set your boundaries. Someone feels like they deserve your spot or they deserve a King of Pentacles enter, like, this king of cups in reverse feels like they deserve to be a king of pentacles but no they don't they're not stable enough like i said they're just not stable enough they don't they don't do anything responsibly but for some reason they feel like they can come back because you're happy or something something about your mental health is is up to it's like these people are real paranoid that like uh, you're going to be heading into a new connection or you have a soulmate around you. They feel like they can break it up. They're like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to break it up or I'm going to bring the past up or whatever. Something about children too. Someone uses children to get into a contract that's already broken. So this could be like a child's mother, child's father. <clears throat> thinking that they can like block someone from providing for you this is someone that will like pop up with children out of nowhere like this is weird okay but they feel like they can do this clarify the uh nine of swords in reverse that's why when i started the reading i heard set your boundaries up nine of swords in the reverse they don't want you in this libra leo energy where everybody loves you and your relationships are good they just don't want that to happen we got the strength in the reverse Page of Swords in reverse. This person's a coward. Yep, Emperor in reverse. They're a coward. Yeah, because you're moving on. You're breaking up with them. You you don't see this as a good connection. There's someone else that you're attracted to or someone's attracted to you. They have no control over your life. If they do have children with you or something, that's the only little bit of control that they have. And it's even worse if you're not married. Because if you're not married, you... You really are free. But if this person here is like, they're stressed out. They, they're trying to gain some sort of control over you. But they're not listening to you. They just want a, part, a, a piece of your destiny, your joy, your happiness. Clarify the four of swords in the reverse. Four of swords in the reverse. We got the eight of wands. Five of Cups in the reverse and the Fool card. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. 
This ending is going to be really easy for you, an easy transition, but it's not going to be easy for them. Why? Because they keep sedating themselves, something about drugs or something. They're not willing to learn how to change their life. They just want to be around people to make it look like they've changed their life. You do not feel bad about leaving this person behind at all. Maybe you had a conversation or something. Let them know that you are ready to move forward or like do something risky and leave them behind. It's like they feel like you're doing something risky. Clarify the king of swords in the reverse. So someone's someone out here is lying. Yeah, three of swords in the reverse. You don't care. Two of wands. It's like their words are not affecting you anymore. Yeah, nine of cups in the reverse. So... It's not, whatever plan that they have, it's really not going to work. But for some reason, they're going to still try to do it, okay? Yeah, okay. Someone also made a decision to, like, betray you, and the betrayal doesn't seem like betrayal to you because you're not noticing it or you're just moving forward. Yeah, it's like someone does th something on purpose to take you out or slander you or hurt you someone like wanted to hurt you and it didn't work out in their favor and this is why they're blocked from their blessings see it's like they're evil clarify the world nervous so they feel like something here is not over they're going to try to like fight for it or something or be in competition ace of pentacles four of wands reverse and the six of pentacles yeah, you're being recompensated for something new. Someone feels like they could be a part of like your new home or your new life or something. They feel like if they contribute or breadcrumb you, then they can be involved or something like that. This four of wands lets me know that the relationship is over with or someone's stability is not okay. They're not celebrating right now. So they feel like it's not over yet. Someone may have also like taken a home or something from you and you're still being recompensated for something. Someone is just not okay right now. Clarify the five of wands. They don't like how you're always loved out here. Six of pentacles, ace of pentacles. You're loved by your community or something. So you're never really alone. Yeah, two of pentacles in reverse, seven of pentacles in reverse, star. Eight of pentacles. It didn't work. Something didn't work out. Whatever they invested in, it didn't work out. Now people are fighting because it didn't work out. <sighs> so someone out here wants to blame you for why things just didn't work out for them. But whatever they're working out against you, it was, it was against you though. So how the heck was it supposed to work out? I just don't understand. Clarify the devil. Now they want to blame you because their plan to hurt you didn't work. We got the King of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse, Three of Wands. Yeah, this person is not leaving you alone. They won't leave you alone. They're not letting go. They refuse to see that the reason why everything isn't working out is because of them. And you can't teach them anything either. They're going to constantly make it seem like you're being mean because you're telling them to stop drinking and smoking. Or being mean because you're telling them to love themselves. Like, how is that mean, dude? Just do it. We got kitchen magic out here. So we got moon magic, mirror magic, and kitchen magic. They were doing all of that. These are also low vibrational spiritualists. It's like they're not doing anything in high vibration. And they want to blame everyone else for their problems. Entity attachment. They've got some sort of entity attachment on them. That's not your problem. They need to get it off of them. You got Celtic energy. corrupt lawyer police officer yeah this person is like i feel like this person in a way they have to work for the lower vibrations now they have to work for them could be a tarot reader unexpected blessings blessed family corrupt lawyer police officer celtic so since they wanted to give their energy to these low vibrational entities then that's who they're stuck with and they're blaming you for this now they want to come towards you because their little collaboration or their little cult isn't working out. Bad counsel, road less traveled, competition in the family, keep winning. You're the one in the family that's winning. Karmic sister, <laughs> she's mad. This karmic sister keeps coming out, keeps coming out. They got bad counsel from a karmic sister trying to get outside validation. 
hacking phones and social media. Yeah, this person just loves being evil. You cannot teach this person. This person is unteachable. They don't know the building blocks, faith and patience. They don't do that. They love being evil. Can't make this up. Archangels are here protecting you, fighting for you, because these people are trying to get outside validation all the time. This is all they care about. It's other people's attention. The only reason why they're attacking you is because everybody loves you. But that's all they see. They're seeing the outside blessings from something. They're not looking on the inside of you. There's something inside of you that they cannot touch, they cannot get to. And all they all they know is that whatever is going on inside of you, it's creating attention on the outside. Like, weird. And on top of that, they're like trying to get close to you to make it seem like, yeah, yeah I have a lot to do with whatever the collective is doing. Look, I cannot make this up. Only staying for money. Watch your words. Block chakras is here. Agent for the devil. Be cautious. Yeah, be careful around these people. They, they just want your influence. They want to look like they are wise too, but they're not. They haven't learned anything from you. They don't want to learn anything. They're not the type to learn anything. They're just the type to, oh, let's get into this cult. Let's make money together and that's it. Let's get attention. Let's get respect from the community because of our money or our status or how we look. All they care about are looks and they're not understanding that that's not how you get respect from the community. That's not it. That's not it. You don't get respect from getting a thousand likes on your picture. That's not respect. That's just someone liking a picture. Doesn't mean that you're being seen as the all knowing, all, I don't know, someone is stupid out here. And it better not be a tarot reader doing the most to try to get, the, it's like something here is half-assed. They're trying to get half-assed knowledge about something and it's just not working for them. But for some reason, it's your fault for the reason why it's not working. All right, so this your guys' reading. Hope this resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.